I want to say something about, oh, a lot of happening right now. But people who make threats against judges, politicians, or any law enforcement officers, I don't care if it's local cops or out-of-control FBI agents, if people make threats, they ought to be accountable for those threats to the full extent of the law. And I've repeatedly said publicly <laughs> that I make no excuses for those who actually rioted at the Capitol on January 6th of 2021 or anyone who advocates violence against others for any reason. But I want to be equally clear that when we're told that even questioning authorities is the same as violence, I just got to throw the flag on that one. Uh, I, I mean, Attorney General Merrick Garland, <laughs> he, uh, he paraded in front of the cameras to denounce those who made threats against the FBI agents after the stunning and, quite frankly, ridiculous raid on Donald Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. But he sure didn't call a press conference, and he didn't send out the FBI to round up the people who threatened Supreme Court Justices Brett Kavanaugh or Amy Coney Barrett, and those protesters were acting in violation of federal law. They were marching in the streets in front of the homes of these justices. But he did say that he wanted to investigate parents who spoke up at school board meetings and even had the audacity to label them as domestic terrorists. Ditto for FBI Director Christopher Wray. And of course, soon to be former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. <laughs> yep who chimed in and claimed that demanding a fair, impartial, and unbiased investigation into January 6th would be a threat to democracy. Well, can I just tell you something? The real threat to democracy is having deep state swamp creatures use all the intelligence agencies and law enforcement personnel to abuse the rights of American citizens in unconstitutional search and seizure actions that target the political enemies of the Biden administration and the Washington insiders who, quite frankly, just hate Donald Trump more than they even love America. And despite what Liz Cheney or Merrick Garland says, it is not un-American to question the actions of the FBI or the DOJ, especially when they lie. Yes, when they lie to obtain warrants, whether from a FISA court or some low-level magistrate who is a Trump-hating Obama donor. In fact, if we don't question these police state actions that are hidden in unreleased affidavits and search warrants, then we're going to be inviting more abuses of our fundamental and sacred constitutional rights. Now, look, we need some Republicans who will demand accountability for the actions of federal agents, not cover for them when they engage in abuse of power and treat federal agencies as the political tool of the Democrat Party. And the media, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Although we know they have no shame when it comes to their <laughs> stage four terminal case of Trump derangement syndrome. <laughs> now, if Donald Trump had ordered federal agents to storm the Martha's Vineyard beach house of Barack Obama or the personal home of James Comey, the media talking heads would have their empty heads exploding on live TV. And the civil liberties attorneys would have rushed to court demanding cease and desist. But when the target is Donald Trump, our conservatives, our pro-life advocates, or even parents of six-year-olds who may not want their children indoctrinated with critical race theory nonsense or some nutty ideas that boys as young as four can just declare themselves to be girls and make it so. And when that happens, then are you telling me we're supposed to just shut up and let the loony left take the country to the toilet? Not on your life. There is nothing patriotic about remaining silent when half our citizens are being branded as terrorists or when we're being told that loving God, respecting the flag and national anthem, and demanding equal treatment under the law is somehow unacceptable. So arrogant and elitist Liz Lincoln, uh, I'm sorry, Liz Cheney. <laughs> yeah. Cheney. She can spare us the lectures about how much better she is than the rest of us. But I hope one day she will repent of her pride and Trump hate and confess that having a scripted TV show called A Hearing 
and not allowing cross-examination of witnesses or maybe insisting that witnesses had to have actually seen and heard what they testified of, I hope she'll admit that's not what really threatens democracy. But there is hope in all of this. There really is. Liz lost her seat in Congress by 40 points. Now, she thinks... She thinks the nation now wants her to run for president. How absurd. I think what people were trying to tell her was that she needs to just go and sit in the corner for a while and think about what she's been doing to her country. And maybe after she's thought about it, she can apologize and then she can come out and play.